Hey everyone, in today's short video, I'll be talking about the 5 things I hate most about the Logitech Dragon Force Shifter. Overall, Logitech's $60 H pattern shifter isn't terrible for the price and I talk more about this in my review of the shifter which you should definitely check out. So while the title of the shifter states 5 things I hate most about Logitech's Driving Force shifter, I don't necessarily mean that it's a terrible product. Although I wouldn't say it's a great product either. Alright whatever. Number 5. It's not included with the wheel itself, instead you have to pay extra. This is included at number 5 because it's not something I necessarily hate, it's more of just an annoyance. For the $250 you're paying for the G29 or G920, it would have at least been nice for it to also been included. Although, to be fair, you already receive a decent product considering the price of Logitech's wheels. Alright, number 4. The shifter is a downgrade from the previous shifter, which was a downgrade from the previous shifter. Okay, let me explain. The image on screen now shows the last three Logitech shifters that have ever hit the market. The one on the far left being the oldest and the one on the far right being the one I'm talking about right now. The oldest one features a bunch of programmable buttons and even a d-pad. Not only that, it also features both an H pattern and a sequential mode which you can switch between with a simple mechanism. The one in the middle looks very similar, except for some reason they decided to remove the option to switch between sequential and H pattern, so essentially it downgraded. And then finally, the newest model doesn't feature a sequential option or any buttons. It's like a slap in the face and here I am still paying for it. Now I'm going to show you the next generation of Logitech shifters, which was actually leaked by Logitech's sim racing team, so let's keep this between us. Ready? Here it is. Okay, to be honest, this is completely stupid, but I mean, I think it would be kind of cool, I don't know. Okay, number 3. I hate how cheap this plastic tab on the shifter knob is. It's literally the exact same one used in the past two generations, and they still haven't used a more premium material or at least a higher quality plastic. Considering it's arguably the thing that sticks out the most in the shifter, they might as well have made it look at least pretty. But instead, it's made out of a crappy plastic, which seems only a little bit better than those used in milk gallons. Also, mine seems to move around a little bit whenever I have my palm on it. I don't know if anyone else has the same problem. Alright, number 2. I absolutely hate how hard it is to put this thing in reverse. And for someone like me, who bends it every time I try to impress someone online, this is a pretty big deal. Now, I understand that pushing the shifter knob down and moving it to the reverse gear is fairly common in many cars. I'm not complaining about that. I'm complaining at how many times the shifter has failed to recognize whenever it's in reverse. I can't even explain how many times I've tried to put this thing in reverse and instead it's put me into 6th gear. Like, thank god this is a sim because in real life, I would be riding a bike by now. To be completely honest, I don't know if this is a problem for anyone else, but it's very common in mine and extremely annoying. Okay, finally, number one. I hate how toy-like this shifter feels. It doesn't feel realistic, the gears are way too close to each other, and it doesn't feel satisfying to switch gears. It just feels like... like a toy. With its compact size, it's also extremely common to misshift. In essence, you really just don't get any real immersion out of this, or not much at all at least. Like yeah, it does the job, kinda, but it, it doesn't do it too well. And that pretty much rounds up the 5 things I hate most about the Logitech Driving Force Shifter. Let me know what you guys think in the comments, do you agree, do you disagree, and stay tuned because who knows, maybe I'll make a 5 things I love about the Logitech Driving Force Shifter the next time I run out of video ideas. As always, thank you all for watching, stay safe, and have a fantastic rest of your day.